Hey guys, let go of your negative friends. How do you determine negative friends? The best way is those who never inspire you. Those who call you but never inspire you. That's another way. Those who whose habits are lesser than yours. Those who you do not vibe with, let them go. Those people who want to be around junkies, those people who have different interests than you, let them go, believe me. These are some skills to figure out some negative people. Hey guys, financial management gets you places. Listen, if your parents are not millionaires today, never listen to them about finance, regardless of what they're saying to you. Your parents do not know how to manage their money. It's as simple as that. You can argue with me all you like. There is no wrong or right. That is a fact. Otherwise, your parents would have a million dollars or more in their bank account with them right now not in terms of house and assets in their bank account right now a million dollars make sure you study finance that's the only way you get to come to Brisbane like this or anywhere else around the world financial management gets you around the world hey guys there is one important factor in life and that is who you meet now you can have the best conversation in the world. How amazing is that? Just the thought of communicating at your prime, at your best, at your best communication style. Imagine how professional, imagine how good you would be to communicate at a caliber of whatever language to the best pronunciation Vocabulary, vocality, language, you can, as well as tonality, body language, and your EQ. Improve all those to the best of its ability, and you'll be the best in the world. Hey guys, do you see that eagle? That represents 1% of people. Do you know why? Because eagles can fly, while the 99% of people are ducks, they're chickens, yeah? They can never fly, because they follow the crowd. Eagles go their own way in life. Eagles get out of their comfort zone. And eagles are visionaries. They are the ones who create all those buildings that you see, all those technologies that you see. They are the ones who inspire the world. Eagles. Never ducks and chickens. Ducks and chickens, all they do is drink alcohol and drugs, to be honest. So be an eagle. Make sure that you are an original. Hey guys, do you know why water is so magical? Because it's peaceful. Life that gives peace, humans that give peace, are unshakable. As you can see, water cannot be broken. Be water, as Bruce Lee says. And what he means is, flow in life to the best of your ability, but also when obstacles are coming your way, Make sure to go around the rocks, above the rocks, underneath the rocks, and push the rock also, okay? Make sure that when others criticize you, nothing offends you in life. Make sure that you are living life to the fullest, because that's the way to be like water. No, sorry. That is the only way to be water in life, as Bruce Lee says. The best way 
is be unshakable. Make sure that others are never harming you and that you are always bettering your habits as well as improving yourself daily. That's the foundation of growth. That is the foundation of who you must be in life. If you don't grow in life, you are getting nowhere. So the best way to move ahead of everyone else is to grow and also to improve yourself but also to motivate others, discipline yourself and influence on social media. Hey guys, honestly in life be a tree. Do you know why? Because trees grow. Growing is the foundation of success. Without growth, you have no emotional maturity. You have no emotional quotient. You have no emotional intelligence. You have no EQ. You have nothing in life. A smoker never grows. Alcohol drinkers never grow. People who do drugs never have a business. The only way to truly grow in life is to read every day and to learn from those who have better habits than you. All right? The habits of a person defines a person. The better someone's habits, the more inspirational they are. Learn from those who have better habits than you. Hello everyone. Make sure to let people ba 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 about you, all right? Let them talk. Let them talk. You be strong and you move forward regardless of what they're saying because they can never do what you are going to do, okay? When you are out there going into the unknown, guess what? You will never be dis disappointed about going somewhere where others have not gone. It's worth it. Make sure that whatever you want to do in life, you do it, regardless of what anyone thinks about it, okay? If someone is directing you somewhere, make sure that you stay on your path, stay on your core, stay on your course, and focus on yourself. Focus on yourself the most in life. Because it's only by focusing on yourself that you can help the world become better hey guys the world will inspire you if you let it you are what you make of your life listen guys always look to the outer world to be inspired by it all right nothing is going to happen if you have the right habits in place and you keep your discipline the outside world can always inspire you as long as you keep your disciplines but if you go backwards, that is when the world can make you destructive. So never be destructive, but make sure to always look for guidance from people, okay? Let people lead you somewhere, but keep your disciplines, keep your habits, because the better your habits are, the better you will be. Hey guys. I never feel sorry for people. Do you know why? Because I never want to show sympathy to anyone. It's the worst thing you can do. People want to feel understood. They don't need you to criticize their actions. They don't need you to feel sorry for them. What they really need in life is you to inspire them. Okay? What people really need in the world is more empathy instead of sympathy. Empathy over sympathy, okay? That is the difference. Empathy uplifts people. Sympathy decreases humanity, okay? The more empathy you can give people, the more of a leader you're going to be. Nothing is more important than empathy in life. Empathy is the ability to influence. Okay, remember that. Empathy, empathy is the way to go in life. Hey, guys. Do you know how they say live your life to the best of your ability? Do you know what that really means? It means emotional intelligence. Why do I talk so much about emotional intelligence? Because the ability to regulate your emotions and the ability to have a soul to soul communication with someone without logic involved takes a tremendous amount of skill. All right. To be able to talk with your emotions instead of logic is a tremendous amount of work, all right? Emotional maturity is what 
it is all about. A person who has emotional maturity has success at their doorstep, has success inside, has success in the world, okay? The only way to gain emotional maturity is veganism and sobriety. Hey guys, the most important thing in life is business, all right? Make sure that you become all you can be, all right? What else is there but business in life? Make sure that you're around people who talk business. Become a business person, all right? The only way to do that is to become an influencer. How do you become an influencer? You practice your speech capability. You practice your communication style, okay? A person who cannot communicate has no business in life. A person who has no business in life does drugs, okay? Believe me, they got no business. They're killing themselves slowly. So make sure never to kill yourself slowly, but always to make sure that you have emotional intelligence and that you are always improving your communication persona. Hey guys, the most important thing in life is eating less and less over time. Why do I say that? Because most food today has a lot of poison inside. But not just that, the source of energy comes from your body. Most people think that the source of energy comes from food. No, your body makes your own energy, okay? Now, throughout the day, you have to make sure that you are eating less and less because what happens when you eat a lot? You get tired, right? So when you have less food on you, and when you are fasting, you will realize and you will learn that when you are hungry, when you are really hungry for food, you are gonna push yourself much more than when you are full, okay? So stay hungry in life. Hey guys, the number one discipline in life is loving yourself, okay? Why do you need discipline? Well listen, to make money in the long run, to get anywhere in life, to be able to travel the world, you need to be able to discipline yourself and control yourself, okay? In all aspects of life, your life must be better than it is yesterday. And the only way to do that is to discipline yourself more and more throughout your lifetime. Because without discipline, you are a person who lets their emotions or your emotions take over you. Okay? Make sure that every day of your life you are becoming stronger and stronger. And the only way to do that is to stay away from certain things. So become disciplined. Hey guys, the single most inspiring thing that you can do for yourself is manage your finances. Listen, you cannot go places to see these type of towers without money, all right? Now, throughout your day, your money is going to rent, to nutrition, for your body, for your subscriptions, for your petrol, to your family, for other types of expenses, and you have to be able to cut those expenses so that you can lower your means first so that you can afford to expand your means later, all right? To make a million dollars, the best way to make it is to make sure your finances are on track. Hey guys, when you are going somewhere, never let someone else dictate your route in life. Never let someone else dictate how you are going to get to a certain spot. Take your own path, go where you want to go, go however you want to go, not how someone else wants you to get there. Go how you want to get there, all right? Just because someone is more knowledgeable in a certain area or certain city than you, doesn't mean that you take the path that they say that you have to go this way to get to your hotel. No, you go the way you want to your hotel, hostel, house or whatever, okay? You go through which road you want 
and not through what someone else says. All right, practice this discipline. It's going to help you in the long run. Never listen and never, never listen to what others are saying to you. Find out the truth on your own, first of all. Okay, before you go believing someone's words, figure it out through your own experience first. Make decisions through your own experience. Plan ahead, okay? And make sure that when someone is dictating you, be quick to go your own path instead of theirs, okay? Because your path is always better. Hello everyone, I just wanted to make a certain way of saying something and that's when you go to the toilet and you want to chuck a shit and this is for women also okay for women and men guys make sure to check the toilet seat whether it's dirty or not okay and also once you check whether the toilet seat is dirty or not check the next one also and check the next one also and then pick the cleanest seat to shit on and then what you do before you shit you get a toilet paper you spit on that board that you sit on and you wipe it with a tissue right wipe it first kill take off all the germs all right who knows what's out there and then do your business hey guys <coughs> just arrived in Brisbane I just want to say that when you travel on a plane that is maybe one to three hours long okay make sure that you are communicating to your neighbor and having the best conversation of your life it's always great to communicate and connect with another individual and talk about a wide range of subjects so that you can get each other's perspective but also improve your communication skills at the same time the best way to move forward is to improve who you are and the only way you can do that is through words through action okay your words are your persona by improving your words you you will most definitely improve your life hey guys just wanted to say that on, the, on your plane ride, what you can do is, you can read, okay? So make sure that you are reading and being productive on the plane, okay? You can do some business work, something that requires no internet, okay? Usually I like to read, I like to read, I like to write quotes, I like to create content, maybe write a book on the plane, okay? These are some ideas, but never play Sodoku on the plane, or some games that help no one make sure that you're always doing something on the plane that's gonna help benefit the world and give value to the world okay because only through giving value are you ever gonna become a millionaire and become rich hey guys here's where you can eat on the plane when it's a one to three hour trip okay you can bring peanuts and also cooking sauce. Now what does cooking sauce do? Well, cooking sauce has protein, okay? So make sure to get something of a cooking sauce that has no animal products in it, but that's what I recommend. Although you can get cooking sauce and a microwave cup and some peanuts with a spoon and you can just munch on that. And also you can bring a bit of salt if you would like on the plane with you so that you can have your taste buds becoming more delicious okay so make sure you guys pack peanuts a microwave cup a spoon and cooking sauce for your one to three hour flight domestically hey guys just wanted to say for domestic airlines when you're traveling within your own country you can always bring food within your own country but international airlines when you're traveling overseas security check is going to be much more strict about what you are taking overseas okay 
So make sure to always, always, always bring food if you want to. And if you don't want to, you can always get it in the next city. But what I do recommend is shooting some videos while you are at the airport and just shoot a video about what you learn on your journey and have a, like a little documentation going and each time you learn something teach it on video even if it's one minute teach it and then put it as an episode on YouTube and that's gonna get you further ahead on social media hello guys just a point of recommendation when you're traveling overseas traveling domestically make sure that you leave two hours or that you're at the airport before say two hours before your flight leaves before your flight leaves make sure you are two hours before at the airport arrive two hours earlier before your airplane is set to take off why because sometimes you get into traffic sometimes you make mistakes while you're at the airport and it takes time it takes delay okay sometimes especially when it's your first time arrive two hours before and every single time arrive anyway two hours before your plane takes off it's the best way for you to have peace of mind and it's the best way for you to never miss your flight hello guys just wanted to say a few skills for the airport but while you're traveling what you have to remember is never go security check before you have weighed in your baggage weigh your baggage first and then go to the airport security okay and also never wait in a random line at the airport make sure that you ask someone is this the correct line for you to check your baggage okay also another one will be to arrive 30 minutes before the plane, the plane is about to, to departure. Last minute before the plane depart departs is 15 minutes. If you come at 14 minutes, the plane's gone. You cannot go on the plane. 15 minutes is the last second. Make sure you are at the gate before departure, 30 minutes before, okay? Hey guys, just at Adelaide Airport right now. Just wanted to say that here's a life skill. When you are going to the airport, and you have your passport, your documentation, put it in your front pocket, okay, the passport especially, with your whatever you need, maybe your wallet, make sure it's always at the front, okay? Especially the passport, make sure you have your passport because without the passport, you cannot travel anywhere and you cannot get from, you cannot even get on your flight. So make sure your passport is always on your, left titty and like that you can always go oh it's right here okay no worries but then what you can do is you can also lock it lock it right see the button you can lock your passport and you'll never lose it okay make sure you never lose your passport while traveling here is one thing about traveling guys you have to be prepared you have to prepare financially mentally physically for nutrition also you must prepare you must plan daily where do you want to go what do you want to do why do you want to go there is it the best deal for you how long do you want to stay here how long do you want to stay there you have to be able to plan your future because without planning a future there is no traveling in your future okay make sure to plan because people who never plan plan to fail people who plan always succeed and always get somewhere so always plan 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 okay hello everyone here is another basic life skill what you do is when you're sleeping at a hostel at home at a friend's house on the street in the car while it's cold with no air condition on when it's freezing whatever what you want to be doing is sleep with your scarf on okay it's a no-brainer okay but many people never do it why 
because they're unaware. They're unaware that they can get sick really easily in the cold. Some people have massive egos. Their egos are so massive, they think nothing will ever happen for them. Okay? But listen. Make sure always to wear a scarf. Hey guys, do you know what's the best thing about being in the hospital? When it's very cold outside and you've been walking a lot, it's nice to come to Adelaide Hospital, Adelaide Royal Hospital, and just have a sit, just to relax. Because sometimes being in the cold can freeze your hands, your nose can freeze, you can be very cold, your feet can be very cold, and it's nice to go into Adelaide Royal Hospital or any type of hospital just to sit down. Maybe you brought some food with you. You can sit down, you can eat, and you can do your work in the hospital. And you have to never rush anywhere. You can be warm and have the best time of your life in a hospital. Hey guys, just wanted to clarify some things. Sydney is shitney. Melbourne is Melb shit. Gold Coast is Gold Coast shit. Perth is Perth shit. Darwin is the shit. And finally, shit Adelaide. Hey guys, seriously. Quit smoking. Do you know why? Because smoking leads to harm. Smoking harms you more than you know. Smoking is the worst way to live life. Smoking makes you poor, not just financially, but also spiritually, and also through health. When you smoke, you may be the most famous person in the world, but you are always living the shittest lifestyle in the world. When you smoke, you are never improving. Even though you're famous, you are never improving while you smoke. Smoking is the worst way to live life. Hello guys, here is the number one law of success. The number one law of success is growth. Nothing exceeds growth in life. Everything is ever growing and the only time that you can ever get anywhere is through growth. A person becomes a millionaire because he grows into a millionaire. She becomes a millionaire because she grew into one. She became famous because she grew into famous hood. Okay? A person achieves a status because they grow into that status. Okay? You travel the world, you travel to Spain because you grew into Spain. Okay? You learn a language. You learn five languages in life because you grew into five languages, okay? Growth is everything. Hey guys, the best thing you can do in life is speak with your family over video when you have gone to another country, when you have gone to another city, okay? It's extremely important to teach your parents how to do video on their phone. Get them and invest for them to have a phone so they can do video calls with you because nothing in life will love you more than your family loves you all right family is forever okay family has i l y at the end of it and it means i love you okay make sure to take care of your family and make sure first to take care of yourself Become financially free, become a millionaire, and then help your family financially. Hey guys, the only thing that matters in life is you, okay? With you, everything else starts. Life starts with you. The only way you can persuade, persuade people, and the only way that you can move forward, is through you taking your own action, 
through your own life, through your own journey, through you becoming happy, through you making the world better. Okay? That's how you uplift people. That is how you entertain and persuade people. That is how you really inform people. You really inform people through the skills you've learned in life, through the experiences, through the experiences you've gained in life, and you talk about your story. And then what you do is you become your best version. You become your best version anyway. Hey guys, just in Adelaide, and behind me is Flinders University in Adelaide. Look at the structure. Look how big this is on camera right now. And I just wanted to let all of you guys know that sometimes in life you have to walk that extra mile to get a shot of this, huh? It's worth climbing to become the best you can be in life. Listen guys, the best journey of your life is going places where no one else will go. All right, that's what makes you unique. That's what makes you the best person for that line of work, okay? When you go to places where others will never dream of going, that is your real passion. Hey guys, see this behind me? This may look like a church, but guess what it really is? It may look like a house, it may look like a building but it is really 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 the temple of you why do I say that because with you comes everything else in life see that behind me that you can never describe what that is that is priceless Priceless is not even the word for temple. Priceless, who knows what that word is. But in life, you can never describe anything. Hey, have a look. I'm a loser who loves to learn. Huh? What's up? Huh? There's nothing to say but to keep learning in life, to keep growing. Yes. I've been a loser, but I kept on learning. What will you do without an L in life? There's no L for Larry anymore. But there is, because I still exist. You still exist. We must be learners of life, because learners are losers who learn always. How's that? I'm a loser who will always learn. That's it. I'm a loser who always learns and overcomes all my obstacles. Hey guys, the only thing that matters in life is where you are going now. That's the only important thing in life. Not what happened in the past and not what's going to happen. Okay? The only important thing in life is where you are now. Who you are now. The future doesn't matter. The future does not matter for the person you are now. Okay? Who you are now is everything. Who you are now is not your future. Who you are now is not your past. Who you are really is this moment. And you'll always be this moment. This moment is forever. This, one, this moment is everlasting. The future and the past can never compare to who you are and to this moment. Hey guys, here is a motorbike. Now, what can we do with a motorbike? Well, you can drive it in the cold. You can drive it in the summer. You can drive another person. You can drive wherever you want. You can also have more money on you. But what's better than a motorbike? The best thing to do with public transport is to get someone to drive you. Why do I say that? Because why do you even want to drive? Make others drive you. 
Why do you want to drive? What for? There's no need for you to drive. Let someone drive your jet. Let someone drive your car. Why not? Or you can also drive it yourself. But it's better when someone else is driving you and you have no stress in life. Hey guys, like my tattoos? Huh? That's me, man. This is my represent. Look at that. All my tattoos right there. Look at that. A floor filled with tattoos. Tattoos everywhere. Like my tattoo? That's my tattoo. Look at that. That's my tattoo right there. See this? See this over here? See those two bikes? Those are my two bikes right there. See this bridge over here? I built this bridge. This is my bridge. Guys, that is how you're supposed to live life. Live life to the fullest and make sure that whatever is yours in life is also for other people. Hey guys, have you watched the, the cartoon Goldilocks and the wolf? And guess what Goldilocks was doing? She was going somewhere but leaving a trail behind in life. She was throwing something on the floor to make sure that she can get back home through the jungle. Now what Goldilocks represents in life is me, okay? Why do I say that? I say that because I shoot videos like this and each time I look at a video from the past, I leave a trail, don't I? I leave a trail of videos and memories and this video, when I look back, I will know exactly where I was at that time of my life. And those are what Goldilocks is throwing on the floor. The same way that I throw a video for myself. Okay? Now these videos are really documentaries of my journey. And it's the same way that Goldilocks leaves a documentary of a path for her to get back home. Okay? So when I look back at my videos, I'll think of Goldilocks and how I left a trail for me to watch myself. How I left a trail for my kids, 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 kids to follow me and to be able to see their great, ten times great grandfather how he left a trail just like Goldilocks. I'm rich or better. This is the best way to start a video. You start with I am rich or better. Listen guys, in winter, make sure to have a scarf because it's gonna save your life. It saved my life. Especially in a country like Australia where it gets 15 degrees or less, it gets really cold, okay? 1 to 15 degrees is still cold, okay? Make sure that you are always dressed in winter and never go with short sleeves when it's cold, okay? Make sure you have something around your neck because no one in the world loves to have a sick, th sick throat where they, can, where they cannot swallow. Do you remember that? Do you remember when you, you couldn't swallow with your, with your throat? That's the worst. Make sure you have a scar to prevent that. Hey guys, just in Adelaide. I'm in the hood, okay? I'm in the hood or better. Listen guys, make sure that at the end of your sentences, when you put, I am rich, say, I am rich or better, okay? Now, when you say, or better, at the end, you let go, okay? Now you say, I am rich. This affirms you are rich, okay? But I am rich or better states something even better than rich, okay? Make sure to always, always, always put all better at the end of your sentences. If you say, I am sad, say, I am sad or better. 
If you say I am crazy, say I am crazy or better. Like this, something even better is gonna happen, okay? This is what Jack Canfield taught me, okay? Honestly guys, do that. They say that a picture says a thousand words. And I have no need to say anything in life. And you can see my true expression. You can see how I live my life. You can see the inspiration I am. You can see how I uplift the world. And the only way to uplift the world is through your language, through your posture, through your persona, through your attitude, through your wisdom. How do you get wisdom? You get it from the library. Get yourself a free library card. There's no excuses. Also, Jim Rohn says, get and lo get a library card. Okay, they're for free. Also, once you get a library card, make sure that you keep reading every single day. That's when you become the best version and uplift people. Okay, that's the only way that you are ever going to get somewhere. The only way you're going to get somewhere is by broadening, broadening your mind, okay? Making sure, making sure, making, making sure, okay? They do a bit of remixing in your language while you uplift because repetition is key in life, okay? Remember that. Hey guys, do you know what colors truly signify in life? They signify your best self. Every time you see a color in life, wherever you see colors, there's a song. It goes, I see colors, 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 colors. Listen, guys, when you see colors in life, that is an expression of you okay be the best version when you see a color make sure that you label colors to your best version all right whenever you see a sky full of colors a world full of colors remember be your best version hey guys do you know what true expansion is in life true ex true expansion in life is growing yourself making sure that your bright color is the best it can be now your color can be whatever you want it to be but make sure that you are always improving yourself no matter what your color can be black and it can be your favorite color but make sure that when you are black in life that you are the best black there is in life Make sure that you never call yourself an expert, all right? Because experts never, f never gain any more knowledge about their field because they're already an expert. They already know. Make sure that you're always a student of life. There we go. It's like heaven over here. Hey guys, the best color in life is green. Do you know why? Because green signifies go. Go for your dreams. When you see a green light, it means go for your dreams. Okay? When you see green lights at the traffic light, which is not really a traffic light, by what Zig Ziglar said, he said the traffic light is the go light. Okay? Because go means green. Okay? Take more action. Choose more green in life. Okay? Green signifies growth. It's the best color in the world. Okay? A tree has green leaves. There's green grass. Okay? Grow like the tree does. Plant seeds into the world and make sure that your color is green every single day of your life. Hello, guys. What else to do on your last day in the city? Shoot some videos. Well, guess what? These videos and me shooting my videos this is work for me this is my true work this is my true passion all right so the last day that you are in a la in your 
wherever you're going maybe you go to a city on your last day of that city do some work do your passion all right once you do your passion everything else falls into place align yourself with the universe and make sure that you are inspiring yourself every single day nothing is more important than having happiness in your life and having joy okay and the only way to achieve that is through loving yourself and improving yourself daily hey guys if there is one thing to take away from all my videos in life it's this one little motivational sentence improve yourself daily be better than yesterday nothing else just remember that just remember this be better than yesterday because only then in life will you be at the prime of your life now listen the prime of your life is you at your best okay when you are at your best your prime can last for 50 years okay your prime can last a lifetime when you are at the top of your game at the top of your game means your best version the best you've ever been the best results you've ever received in life be at your prime hey guys hello i was just walking the city and i had a nice inspirational moment guess what happened i was walking in the city and as you can see massive buildings man look at the massive buildings over here do you see that do you see that look at this the conventional center adelaide look at that look at these buildings and i'm walking i'm walking and i'm thinking i'm small enough to inspire the world uh, yeah i'm on top of the world right now i am in my prime i don't give a fuck about what people think of me in life okay the main thing is keep the main thing you know how in some videos some people go hey yo it's your boy I've heard that expression one million times and it's very very let's say overrated okay because so many people have used hey it's your boy this it's hey it's your boy that hey it's your boy and hey, it's your boy and it's your boy it's got it's got it's lost it's its entitlements of what it's supposed to be let's create some new phrases let's think about new life hey this is the James Bond of growth Danny Milovojevic you can find me at growthcoach007 on snapchat Instagram YouTube Facebook page I'll be having a LinkedIn account also my podcast is almost on the way check me out hey guys many people laughed at me for being fat, for being a schizophrenic, for doing drugs and it turned out to be the best decision of my life because now I'm far greater than I was. I've sunk to the bottom of the ocean and there was nowhere further down to go and I've sunk to the bottom of the ocean when 99% of the world has never been actually sorry 100% of the world has never sunk in life like I have and made it out alive I was a schizophrenic I gained a lot of weight and I lost 47 kilos and I became schizophrenia and now I'm vegan I'm successful hey guys do you know how the world is suddenly interested in you when you are traveling because you're going places now now women find you attractive because you got the money you got the looks you're going places and you have an interesting lifestyle and yes of course I would as well be interested in women the same way but it's funny how interesting people create a lot more interest and interest is the best thing in the world 
because without interest, without compound interest, without financial interest in life, without trading, without financial gain, without capital, without money, you cannot do one thing in the world. And that's the mentality you must have. You must have. You must, 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 must have to succeed. Hey guys, just here at the Mercury Hotel in Adelaide near the casino. I just want to say, guys, when you owe some money to someone or for something you have used, make sure that before you leave the city, that before you leave the city, that before you leave the city, you give the lump sum of what you owe to whatever you owe, okay? Because Subconsciously, if you, for example, do not pay off something that you owe, it's going to eat at you for the rest of your life. So give what you owe to who you owe it exactly to. And you'll have peace of mind. Hey guys, just here at the casino, I just wanted to talk about something that I wrote in a quote earlier today and that's imagine the world in the future with flying dragons that are extremely the best technology of the world that far exceeds the technology you see today breathing fire into the air transporting goods and services in the air electronically without petrol with with or without people while someone is controlling the dragon with a control panel and imagine a world where there are a massive amount of those dragons instead of trucks transporting those goods and services around the world hey guys if you ever want to look as good as this it's all habits, okay? Make sure you are being positive in life. Make sure you are reading every single day, okay? Eventually you'll get to vibe at a really high level and you'll get to change the world for the better because negative information from the news, radio, from pornography, from drug addicts, from junkies will never get you anywhere. Make sure you get your information from millionaires, people who are inspiring you today, people who have made it on social media right now. All right? Have a look at my little chain over here. That's what I've got today. It's an opal with a little jewelry anklet just on my, on my leg here. But honestly guys, make sure that you're inspiring the world, make sure that you are doing all you can to live the best lifestyle possible. Hey guys, just wanted to show you after a 47 kilo loss of fat and body weight, this is how I have stretch marks now. Look at this. One sec. What is this? See this? This is the excess weight that I have. Have a look. See? So that, see, that's all excess. Right, and that has to be pulled down, or I have to gain some muscle so that that can stretch. Right. So far, so good. I'd rather be at 70 kilos than 113. Hey guys, just want to say it's really important to floss your teeth every single day. Because if you don't, if you don't floss your teeth more, you have to give more money to the dentist. So the best thing you can do is 
Take care of your teeth. Once your teeth falls out, what are you gonna do? You're gonna give $3,000 for one tooth? No way guys, make sure you are loving yourself. Make sure you are flossing your teeth every day. Hey guys, never just believe millionaires because yes, they may inspire you, but sometimes their habits are not really all there. Now you, you can be a millionaire, but you can also be drinking wine, you can be drinking caffeine, you can be drinking alcohol, you can also be taking some kind of medications, and you can also be eating meat as well. All right. Now, famous people, as you see, Michael Jackson, Prince, John Lennon, Elvis Presley, these guys died at a really early age. All right. So just because you're a millionaire and famous, does not mean that you will live to 100 and over. Hey, do you know when she wants that big, muscly guy who's got the lollipop in his mouth, a really like a hubba bubba, one of those lollies, actual lollies, and he's like, but he's, he's, he's on the, Steroids, he's buffed up, he's very bulky, he's on the XC pills, he's got the bum bag going, right? He's got that dark look going. He's probably drug dealing as well. And he's on the alcohol, he's on maybe on the shabs, and the shabs is another word for ice, speed, methamphetamine, which I was on before. And she rejects you, who is sober and live, vegan, very spiritual for a person who is a drug addict like that. For me, for someone to threaten me, whether it's family, friend, wife, kids, whoever it is, you will never threaten me and I will kick you out of my house. You will never see me again. I'll never come to see you again in my life. I will never speak to you again because Shoving your threats down my life is the worst thing you can do because I deserve better than to be threatened in life. I'll just go my way, okay? No one can threaten me, whether it's family or foe or whoever. I don't care. I love myself more than enough to stay away from that shit. When you have known someone for 20 years, you grew up together, six years old, seven years old, used to chase them, used to, we used to play tips, we used to play hide and go seek, spin the bottle, we used to chase girls when we were eight years old, nine years old, 10 years old, and then 16, 17, 18, we drift off, and then five, six, seven years later, after drifting off, you send that person a message and that person just never replies. Looks at your message and never wants to reply. Why? Where's the trust gone? See, I never appreciate these people in my life ever again. Just because I grew up with them doesn't mean I know them today. Do you know what they see? They see this face. But look how beautiful this face is. This is a vegan face. This is the best cosmetic in the world that you can ever have in life. And that's veganism. Veganism is the best cosmetic in life. Okay, for your skin, skin complexion, for having no pimples, for having a clean face, for having a beautiful face, for being able to shine, to be able to shine bright, to be able to be brighter than before. Veganism is the way to go. Veganism will get you anything you ever want in life. 
All you have to do is invest a bit of time every single day learning about nutrition over time with compound interest and you will become a vegan yourself. Do you know when you've been at home all day and people ask you, what were you doing at home all day long? Oh, me? From 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. I was just listening to the first podcast for real estate that Grant Cardone has accomplished. So from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., I was educating myself on his first episode, which is one hour long. Okay, nothing else. And I was just repeating the program over and over. It's been seven times now, and I still have to read it the eighth time to really grasp what Grant Cardone and his team are talking about in real estate. And that's all I did, nothing else and a bit of my own nutrition business. Have a good listen up, people. Investing $5,000, $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 into millionaires' programs without taking action on what they say is the biggest waste of money that you'll ever do in life. Listen, never invest five thousand or more dollars or one thousand or more dollars if you're not going to use their ideas to improve your life a five thousand program from a millionaire is the same thing that you can get for free in a podcast or on youtube okay it's the same thing use what is free in life to better your life